Hey everyone, this is producer Dave. I'm just walking into the studio. I thought I'd walk to the studio today. It's beautiful out. There's a little bit of snow in the air. I just love walking. It's fun. So I'll be in the studio in a minute. We're going to start the show. Thanks for being here. This is day 10. Can you believe it? Day 10. Ah, uh, it's just a gorgeous day. I'll see you in the studio. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome everyone to day 10, it took 10 days to get here, but we know that it has been worth the wait, today we are going to be talking about patience, but wait there's more, we will also get news updates, our Christmas poem, facts, stories and fun, this show will be worth its weight in fun, welcome to the Daily Santa Podcast, hi producer Dave, great to see you again. Twinkle, it is so much fun doing this podcast, to think that we're already up to day 10, it's gone by so fast, but it also feels like we've been waiting for this day for so long, and pretty soon we'll be at 15 and 20 and 25, and our countdown will be over. So I think we need to enjoy each day. That's why I walked in today, is I just wanted to take some time to enjoy how beautiful it is to live and work here in the North Pole. It is gorgeous. So, yeah, I'm having a great day. I'm really excited. I have my coffee now, so I'm happy. Let's go. Let's go with the show, Twinkle. Let's do this. Thanks, Producer Dave. Hi, everyone. This is your favorite elf, Sophie. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Clara. Are you ready for another great Christmas fact? Did you know? Santa will have food from around the world during his journey on Christmas Eve. After departing from North American skies, Santa is treated to different gifts and treats around the world. In Australia and the United Kingdom, kids leave out <laughs> sherry and mince pies. Swedish kids leave rice porridge. And Santa can expect an even greater surprise in Ireland upon his arrival, a pint of Guinness. What are you going to leave out for Santa this year? Oh, and don't forget the reindeer. For more great Santa facts, join me here every day on the Daily Santa Podcast. And visit dailysantapodcast.com. <laughs> Thanks, Clara. Santa, is there a treat you are looking forward to having this year? Oh, oh. I think I'm looking forward to Jennifer's candy cane Christmas cookies. Oh, oh. Oh, they're so candy cane-ish. Oh, just don't tell Mrs. Claus that I'm having a cookie. Oh, that could be trouble. But Jennifer's cookies, oh. Jennifer does make awesome candy cane Christmas cookies. If we keep mentioning them, maybe producer Dave will bring some in from Jennifer. That would be awesome. Hey, Jen. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> And now, the Daily Santa Podcast presents The Santa Daily News Daily Updates from the North Pole Hi everyone, and welcome to the Santa Daily News on the Daily Santa Podcast for Day 10 In the news today a small parade is in the works to celebrate Elf Safety Week, the time and date for this event is still being planned. All elves are asked to stand by and wait for an update. We thank you for your interest. For us to have a safe parade we need to make sure we have everything organized, there is a lot of things to figure out, so if you can give us some time to make our plans, we will let you know soon. Stay tuned here for more information. If you have time to help us plan, we are always looking for helpers. More news on this event, shortly. Short. <laughs> this just in, Mrs. Claus is hosting a bake sale tomorrow to raise money for the local firefighters. Our fire department has been waiting for some new equipment and the money from the sale will help them to get the gear that they need. Please consider supporting this great fundraiser. We ask guests to line up at the entrance to the event and wait for the event to start at 9 a.m. In health news, Dr. Waite, Santa's official medical doctor is joining the show today to speak about how we can reduce our stress during the busy Christmas season. Welcome Dr. Waite. The doctor will see you now. Hello, this is Dr. Waite. 
I am so pleased to be with all of you here on the Daily Santa podcast. Yes, I am Santa's family doctor, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you about how we can reduce our stress this time of the year. We are all busy, the elves are working hard, the weather can be unpredictable, plans change, we are all a little distracted. It could be that reindeer, car or sleigh that is in your way, a tired parent that just wants to get home, children who want Santa to arrive sooner. If we want to reduce the stress of the season, my prescription is simple. Add more patience to your daily life. Of you are feeling stressed this year, take a moment, take a breath. We will all have a better holiday if we can just be a little more patient. Thanks for having me on today, Kendall. Merry Christmas, everyone. Slow down on those cookies, Santa. Thanks, Dr. Waite, for your time. And now, waiting patiently, our weather expert is here for an update on a large storm headed our way. Take it away. Well, producer Dave's going to need a ride home. It's going to start snowing later today. So that nice walk in is going to be uh, a little harder. Back to you. Thanks for that. Please make preparations now before the storm arrives here in the North Pole. Stay with us here for updates as we wait out the storm. Finally, the long wait is over. Selfie is doing a remake of the popular buddy movie Elf. This new, updated version of the movie has taken a long time to create and to fill, but Selfie promises that it will be well worth the wait. I see what you did there. Tickets can be pre-purchased in advance, the wait list is already growing, so hurry down to the North Pole Theater for tickets, get on the standby list now. Thanks for being here today, I can't wait to be with you tomorrow for day 11. Goodbye for now. Hey everyone, Clara here again, instead of another fact to share, I have a question for the group instead. If everyone here was to start a podcast, what would it be about and what would it be called? I'll start, I love to travel and to share stories from around the world, I might call my podcast Clara's Travel Journal. How about you Selfie? What would your podcast be? If I had a podcast... Well, I think it would be a short <laughs> podcast. Well, it's funny. Short. A short podcast about either Christmas cookies. Mm. Or cell phones. Oh. <laughs> or. Mm, let me think. Elves. That might be interesting. So I have to think. I might start a podcast now. This would be awesome. I would hope everyone would listen to the selfie podcast. I would listen to that for sure. Twinkle. How about you? Thanks, Clara. My podcast idea would be Journey to the Stars, a podcast to help people discover their dream, like my dream of being a big movie voiceover guy someday. It would be great to see someone go from being a small star to a big star. That would be fun for me. Kendall, you would be a great podcaster. What would your podcast be about? Okay, being on this podcast is fun, but if I had my very own, it would be about my dog Jack. I love my dog and would like to share dog stories and tips for others on how to love and care for their dog. Oh, that's Jack now. It is time for our walk. Producer Dave, do you even have time for another podcast? Did you guys know that Producer Dave has seven? Seven? I repeat, like, seven different podcasts. Seven? What? Yeah, I actually do have seven. Seven podcasts. If I start another one, I think Jennifer might be a little bit <laughs> upset in that I'm doing so many. But maybe a podcast about candy cane cookies. <gasps> what? That might be interesting. What do you think? Maybe Jen will make some. <laughs> you see what we're doing? We're trying to get some free cookies. But having fun, guys. This is a great question. I love hearing everybody's ideas. Wow. What about our weather guy? What would your podcast be about? My podcast would be about tropical islands. Not snow. No, not snow. Interesting. Something warm. Yes. Santa, you have the Daily Santa podcast, but if you could do another, what would it be about? Actually... Santa really enjoys model trains. Ooh, yeah, the little choo-choo tracks. Yes, I have tracks. 
all around my little personal shop. <laughs> and I, I set up little towns and little cities because I see the whole world. Oh, and then I, I have my trains. And I would love to talk to other people who, 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 love, who love trains. So, yes. Thanks, everyone. Podcasting is fun. How about you listening right now? If you had a podcast, a topic that you would love to talk about, what would your show be? Happy podcasting, everyone. Twinkle, I think we should go right to our topic for today. It's going to be a great one. We've made people wait this long. Oh, there's a little clue there. We've made them wait this long. Let's talk about patience and why it's really important for us to show patience and how this will help us to stay on Santa's nice list. Twinkle, can you tell us more? Today's topic is all about patience. I will tell you what patience is, in just a few minutes, stick around to find out what it is. Patience is a skill, and like all skills, patience can be learned. Just like learning to walk, ride a bike or playing a piano. We can learn patience, and get better at being patient as we work on it. The best way to learn patience is to practice patience. Patience is not simply the ability to wait, it's how we behave while we're waiting. Here are four things to consider about patience. Talk about these things with your family to see how you can add these to your day. 1. When learning patience, start small. Just like learning anything, you will not be great at something if you never try. Little babies are not very patient. When they want something, they want it right now. We have to learn patience, that is a lot of work. 2. We have to learn how to wait for what we want. We need to take turns, allow someone to go first, put someone else ahead of us. 3. Realize that being patient is hard work. We wait for a bus, wait for dinner, wait for our friend to catch up, we do a lot of waiting. 4. Learning patience is not just for adults. When we start learning and practicing patience as a child, we will use what we learn as an adult. It is no fun to be asked to wait for our turn, but if we can learn how to wait, we will see it pay off in the future. So I told you to wait to find out what patience was. Do you know, that waiting to hear what patience is, that waiting to the end to find out what it is was actually being patient. Patience is simply being calm, realizing that there are other people involved and allowing others time and space. At this busy time of year there is very little patience, honking car horns, pushing and shoving, angry responses to people in our way, or doing things that make our day worse, those are the people that need patience. Remember you have to learn it patience is not free. Producer Dave, what is an example of a time when you had to be patient? That's a great question, Twinkle, I really like this one. I remember being at the store and somebody, I was in a hurry, someone was in front of me, and they were going so slow, but I realized that even though I was in a hurry, they just needed some help. So I helped them with their with their things, and they had a great day because someone helped them. And I think all of us need to be more patient, and it doesn't matter how old you are, Twinkle. You can be little or you can be a, an adult. Everyone can be more patient. I love it. Great question. So Kendall, we got a, we got a message came in, an email, and I sent it over to you to see it. Can you share this message with everyone? I'd love to have you do it this th- today. That would be wonderful. Do you see it in your email? Yeah. Can you read that for us, please? Thanks. Thanks, Producer Dave. <laughs> Today's email is from Stephen, and he lives in Far Rockaway, New York. One of the great things to do there is to head over to Rockaway Beach. The boardwalk is awesome. Ocean beaches are the best beaches. I love watching the waves roll in. You might even see a school of dolphins. I will read Stephen's message to you. Stephen writes, Hello Santa, I live in New York, near the ocean. I like to track your journey every year, and I always go to bed before you get close to New York so that I do not delay your trip by being awake when you arrive. I have a question for you, how do you care for the reindeer? Thank you Santa for reading my letter. Stephen. Santa, can you help Stephen with his question? We always take care of our reindeer. The reindeer have the best food and the best care. We know that taking care of animals is very important. And I want everyone to know that our reindeer are treated the best. 
So thank you for your question. <laughs> and we will see you soon. Listen for the bells. They sound like this. <laughs> and you will know that we are close <laughs> to your home. Thank you for sending in your message. <laughs> Thanks, Santa. I learned so much here on the Daily Santa Podcast. If you want your message read or question answered, ask your parents for help and go to dailysantapodcast.com. Over to you, Twinkle. We wouldn't be able to travel the world without our amazing team of reindeer. Great question, Stephen. We have a Christmas poem to share with everyone. Are you ready? Great. This is called, A Poem for Santa. Stockings are hung. Christmas carols are sung. Each child is in bed. Slumber stories are read. It's that magical night, when reindeer take flight. In your sleigh you do sit. With toys, a tight fit. This key is for you. Dear Santa, it's true. A long wait it's been. We beg you, come in. Thank you for joining us for day 10 of the Daily Santa Podcast. Did you know that you can easily find our podcast on YouTube? Our audience is growing, and we appreciate that you have taken the time to listen to our podcast. On behalf of the team here, a big Santa hug to all of you. Do your best to be a kind person today. Be patient today. See you tomorrow for day 11. Okay, everyone. Thank you for being part of day 10 of the Daily Santa Podcast. Again, my name is Producer Dave. We make this podcast just for you go to daily santa podcast.com that selfies page that we made just for the podcast daily santa podcast.com and you can see all of the fun we're having there and yes we have some bloopers just for you enjoy oh hey what's this oh where did these come from? <gasps> candy cane cookies! From Jennifer! <gasps> oh yeah! I love these cookies! Oh, I'm just gonna have one. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe two? Oh, I love it! I love it! I love it! Cool cookies! Oh! Wait! Selfie? What? Where did you get those cookies? These? Are those candy cane cookies? Um. From Jennifer? Maybe. Wait until Twinkle finds out. Oh, no, no. Hey guys, oh. what's going on? Twinkle. Selfie, are those candy cane cookies? Um, Were those the cookies that Jennifer dropped off here at the studio? Maybe. I think I hear producer Dave. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We better hide them. <laughs> hey guys, uh, Jensen was just here. My wife Jen and she apparently dropped off a package for us. I, she said it was on my desk in the studio, but I don't see it. Um, anybody, anybody see my my the package Jen left? Anyone? Guys. Okay, everyone, we're looking at uh, day 15. Oh, it's just one second. One second. I'm looking at the wrong piece of paper. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, we are on day 10. <clears throat> day 10 of the Daily Santa podcast. Uh, let's, let's start. Sorry about that. Let's go. Merry Christmas.